Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we are just deep into our little series we've been doing on interpreting charts and graphs. A really big GED skill for the math test, the science test, and the social studies test. Um, this particular problem, uh, would I would expect to see something like this on math. So let's go ahead and take a look here. It says refer to the, well it says refer to the test, but I'm fairly certain I meant refer to the chart. Don't know how I got test out of that. Refer to the chart to determine which ceiling fan size would be best for a 124 uh, square foot room. Notice that it doesn't say 124 feet room. It says 124 square foot. Square foot is, well, first of all, what is a square foot? It means it's a square that's one foot by one foot. It's one foot tall and it's one foot wide. Okay, um, so if I say that a room is 124 square feet, that means that I could, you can imagine me fitting 124 tiles that were a foot by a foot um, in this room. Um, and that's the idea there, that would cover the floor. And so that is how we measure uh, usually sizes of rooms. But the important thing that you should know is when they say square foot, they are referring to area. Even though the problem never said anything about area, this is an area word problem. The fact that they gave me square feet tips me off that they gave me the area. Area is measured in square feet or square inches or square yards, square units, okay? In this case, square feet. Okay, so basically I'm looking for a fan for a room with an area of 124 square feet, okay? So let's take a look at this table that we have here. Looks like we have fan size and we see these different fans. And so this is going to be one of our answers because it does say which ceiling fan size. Uh, but then we're looking for the one that would be best for a 124 square foot room. Now, it's interesting because this particular table says room size, and it does say in square feet. But then look at the answers. It says smaller than an 8 by 8, and we read that times sign there as the word by, smaller than an 8 by 8. And that's interesting because when they give you the two numbers like that, they're not giving you the area, they're giving you the dimensions. What do they mean? They mean that they're talking about a, a room that is 8 feet by 8 feet. Well, let's think about how many little squares, one foot by one foot square, I'd be able to fit in here. If I had an 8 by 8 uh, square, of course, I'd be able to fit 8 rows one per each one of those eight feet of squares, and then I'd be able to get eight columns, eight rows, eight columns. Eight by eight room means it's going to have eight rows and eight columns, or eight times eight, a 64 square feet. I multiplied to find the area. Okay, so obviously that fan size is gonna be too small. I have 124 square foot room. Let's keep going. This one has a range. We have an 8 by 8, which we already figured out was 64 square feet. But it goes to a 10, uh, 10 by 12, 10 feet by 12 feet. Again, 10 rows of 12 squares would give us 120 square feet. So this fan works best for if you have a room that's about 64 square feet to 120 square feet. Still a little too small for my room. Okay, so let's talk about the next one. 10 by 10, uh, 10 rows of 10 columns uh, would be 100 total squares, so that's 100 square feet. And then 14 by 14, 14 rows, 14 columns, that would be 14 times 14. Oh gosh, I think I have that one memorized, 196 square feet. Um, if I don't, I'm sure I'll get lots of comments about my bad math. So that's the square footage there that that sucker is going to work for. And indeed, it looks like my 124 square foot room fits right in that range. And so probably this is the fan size I want. So it's interesting because what's going to be the answer to this question? Which ceiling fan size would be best? Um, anywhere between 48 to 58 inches. And that little double marking there, it does mean inch. 48 inches to 58 inches. All right. If this were on the GED, it would probably be a multiple choice answer. I would be very surprised if they'd have you type in something like that. Great. If you have any questions about this,
or any other GED or math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.